Okay, so hi everyone. Welcome to today's class. Today you're going to learn about snow cone. Okay, so you may be thinking to yourself that it could be part of the snow family and you are right. $100 to you. If at all you do find me. But then yeah, it is part of the snow family. We have already studied about the snow family before. Uh, it was called as a snowball. And then we also studied about snowball edge. And then we studied about snowmobile. Now snowmobile is something that is a huge truck to data transfer at least exabytes of data, which is 1024 petabytes. It can transfer up to 100 petabytes per truck. But now we are going to study about the smallest device that they brought out into the snow family two days before, which is called a snow cone. And it can fit into your backpack. How amazing is that? So let's go to the Northern Virginia region and let's click on snow family from here or possibly from under services, under migration and transfer. You should be able to see the snow family over here. So let's go ahead and create a job. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the United States itself because I'm just going to create this job and delete it immediately. And I'm going to choose the import into S3. Click on next. And you can see that we, I do already have my existing address over here, which is an address that is in India, but then we are still in the Northern Virginia region because in some regions, your snow cone is available in some regions. It's not available. So we are going to go with the Northern Virginia for right now where the snow cone uh, device is available and the shipping speed is one business day that I would like to choose. And when you click on next, give your job a name. I'm just going to call it as sample job. Scroll down and you can see awesome. So AW snow cone is available over here. It is the smallest device. It's like a, a small cute device, I would say. So it is around 8 TV in storage. It consists of two virtual CPUs for any kind of compute capacity that you'd like to. And it comes with four gigabits of RAM. And you can go ahead and look at the snow cone power supply, whether you would like to go ahead and use your, <laughs> I mean, USB type C cable in order to power up your snow cone device, or you would like a cable to also be shipped. But right now, if you choose, I will provide my own power supply and ethernet cable, you will not get your accessories. But if you don't choose this, you will get your accessories. You can also choose your storage bucket and coming soon. You can see Wi-Fi capability with snow cone is also coming soon. And you can also integrate EC2 instances for doing all of your uh, capabilities of compute workloads at the edge uh, using uh, your snow cone device. You can also choose to enable this and add an AMI over here. But right now we are not going to do this. Let's go ahead and click on the next step. But I think uh, right now I have to acknowledge this. And I have to also uh, create a new bucket over here. Let me possibly choose one bucket that I already have. Let me click on next. So right now you have to also go ahead and uh, create a permission. And if you choose to create, it creates a brand new role for snowball. And when you choose your view details, you will be able to see the IAM policy documentation over here in order for it to go ahead and upload all of the objects to S3. Once you have uh, sent back the device to the AWS uh, I mean data center. And then one more thing over here is you can choose to encrypt all of your data using the import export default KMS key, or you can create your own KMS key and it's for sure will populate over here. Click on next. And you can choose to create a new SNS topic for whenever your uh, snow device is being shipped to your location or getting visibility into when it's shipped back to AWS as to what are all the different uh, statuses that it goes through. You'll be able to automatically get notification regarding the same. I'm just going to create a new topic. Click on next. And you can also download AWS Ops Hub. Uh, this is a user friendly tool that you use for the snow family to manage all of your devices uh, and local AWS services. So with Ops Hub that is installed onto your client computer, you can do some tasks such as uh, unlocking uh, your devices, transferring files to your devices, launching and managing instances that are running on Snow Family devices. It's a pretty cool uh, client that you can install. It's one of the services on the AWS Management Console. Uh, instead of doing this right now, what I'm going to do is directly review the job and go ahead and create the job. So whatever you uh, create these sample jobs, you can go ahead and directly uh, delete within or cancel it within an hour in order to not incur any charges. I'm just going to type the name of the job and click on cancel for right now. So I hope you got an idea as to what snow cone is. It's a pretty brand new service that they released. It's very small, 8 TB of uh, storage with uh, two virtual CPUs and four GB of RAM. It's not even as big as the snowball device uh, or the snowball edge or even nowhere near where snowmobile is. But this can fit into your backpack. You can take it in your airplane whenever you travel and you can even charge it using USB type C cable and you can connect your RJ45 cable uh, in order to do some data transfer. So I hope you got a really good idea as to what snow cone is. I'll catch you in the next lecture.